Apparently, January was all about Mauricio. First, there was the purchase of a PlayStation 4. Then, he needed a game for the PlayStation 4. Then, he needed headphones for the PlayStation 4. And now he's telling me he wants guns? What? Being married to a gamer dork is kind of expensive. Howdy! Long time no see! Okay, I know it was just Friday the last time I saw you, but it feels like it's been forever. If you are new to my channel, I'm Wendy Valencia. Waiting for the little kid in the background to move her YouTube downstairs. On this channel, my husband Mauricio and I are here to motivate you, get through that debt payoff process on that Dave Ramsey baby step and live a debt-free lifestyle. We'll show you the good biggest debt payoff yet. Dun, 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 dun. I know, I'm a total dork. And the bad. Probably should have had an item in the budget planning for this because we knew it was going to happen at some point but we didn't and she was the best stock so you know what this process is really like so if that is something that interests you make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below so despite the intro we actually did shockingly well in january what you did well i only come to watch your channel because it's kind of a financial train wreck in your house, and I look forward to seeing how far off budget you actually are. No, seriously, it was actually a pretty great month, and we were pretty solidly on budget. We had a few little odds and ends here and there that weren't on budget, but for the most part, oh my goodness, we're back on track. I kind of equate that to the fact that we did just deal with that looming $50,000 debt that we had been ignoring for so long and just dealing with it helped us to like get in there and focus and move on from it. So it was painful, but it was a very good thing. So in our utilities category, we are right on par. I would say it's kind of impossible for us to be over in the utilities category, but I used to say that about insurance and taxes. And then we had this rando bizarro tax thing show up that cost us lots and lots of money. In transportation, we were pretty much spot on. We were 67 cents over in gas. In insurance and tax, we were spot on exactly as we planned. And the 2015 state taxes got done and that cost us $200 right as exactly as I knew it would. In the Molina category, we were a little bit over. We normally put $20 in the budget for our miscellaneous ex school expenses for Molina, and that ended up being $48.45 this month. The first $20 was a school ice skating trip that Molina and I went on at $10 a piece. The $28.45 is a Valentine's Day party for Molina that she was super interested in doing. It's heavy on the crafts, like high-end crafts, so that that's what the cost is for. The $16.96 was a pair of shoes. Melina got two pairs of shoes for Christmas from her great aunt and they would not stay on her feet. So I took them back to Nordstrom's and I exchanged them for shoes that would stay on her feet. And the price difference was $16.96 for those. And in one pair is actually sitting on my dresser. We're gonna return them because she put them on at the house and walked around in them for about three minutes and was like, mommy, these hurt my feet. So we're gonna take those back. So we'll, I'll, I'm gonna see if I can get like a credit at Nordstrom's. I'm, I, Nordstrom's is awesome about their return policy. So, you know, that should be fine. One of the local societies puts on a daddy daughter dance every year and it is super, super sweet and wonderful. And it's designed to have dads teach their daughters how they're supposed to be treated on a date. So we figured we'd start Melina out early. The dads get all dressed up in suits or tuxedos and the girls put on their fanciest dress and, and dads teach them what it's like to go on dates. So I love this concept. I am super excited that they're doing it. So in the Mauricio category, the what I talked about in my intro, it's actually not as bad as it sounds. The fantasy football was $166, but what was so funny is I had put it in the budget for the first time ever in the history of our lives. Mauricio has been playing fantasy football for about uh, like, I don't know, seven or eight years, I think. Absolutely every single year I have forgotten that this was coming. And this is the first year I remember to put it in the budget. 
And so I was all excited that I did it and he never asked me for the money. And then one day I get this text. And as you can see, I just responded to him with, dude, it's already in the budget. Go ahead and pay it. And he was so excited because usually, you know, in January it's a shock and it's after Christmas. And so like, again, we were like spot on this month. So the PS4, we didn't actually buy the PS4. He got a ton of gift cards for Christmas and he decided to go ahead and put them all together and bought a PlayStation 4, which I was super happy for him because you know, the mover stole his Xbox and he hadn't had one. I wanted to get him one for his birthday, but he wouldn't let me. So he ended up getting himself a PlayStation 4 and he, we checked out and everything. And all of a sudden he realized that he had a brand new PlayStation 4 and it had cost almost exactly the amount that he needed to pay for the PlayStation in gift cards. I mean, almost, I think we borrowed like $5 out of my wallet or something like that to make it even. So we were starting to leave the store and he was like, I don't have any games. So I told him to go ahead and buy one game. And so he bought this game. I don't even know what it's called. Ghost Recon or something like that. And he needed headphones because apparently some of the guys from the office also play and they got a chat and it's actually quite hilarious listening to. You know, he had the annual gamers fee for registering. So that was $60. And then my personal favorite was Clash of the Clans. Like this Rano iTunes charge showed up and I was like, Mauricio, what's this 1999 charge in iTunes? He's like, I don't know. And for like five or six days, I asked him every day. I was like, what is it? It's not my iTunes account. I looked, it's not in there. I don't know what this is. And you know, Mauricio knew the entire time. I think in his head, he was thinking, if I ignore her for long enough, she's gonna forget about it. So for like five days in a row, he did not stay. He was like, I don't know. I'll have to look when I get home every day. Mauricio, what is it? Finally, he told me, I bought in-app purchases from Clash of the Clans. I was like, seriously? And we had words, there were words because it's $20 on a stupid iPhone game. Yeah. So if you remember from a cash envelopes video, I exchanged $200 cash for a gift card that I got for Christmas so I could buy some clothes on Poshmark. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it up here. And so I got the Poshmark clothes. It ended up being $222. That was a little bit over, but it is, I, I was, I'm so happy with that. I have now like, gotten out of my funk. I have a couple of new clothes to wear. I have some new jeans. I'm just happy about it. And I also went ahead and bought foundation at Sephora and some Aqua Seal by Makeup Forever. Aqua Seal is this like liquid drop that you, you put a drop on your eyeshadow and then you can paint eyeliner on your eyes. And so it looks like liquid eyeliner, but it's actually eyeshadow. And I will explain why I bought that in one minute. So in the cash category, we were spot on. We actually had a little bit of money left over in the grocery budget, which was kind of awesome. Um, but I will be talking about that in my next upcoming cash video. Recurring annual expenses were exactly the same, except Netflix went up by $1. And in my YouTube category, my new PO box charge for the year did clear by on the last day of the month. I didn't think it was going to, but it ended up clearing. And so we are paid up for the next whole year for PO box. So feel free to send me some mail. The address is down in the description box. In the medical category, we did get pounded a little bit this month. I had to change my dentist appointment. So that money is getting moved to February. I am still waiting on a bill for Melina's dental appointment, but I don't expect that to come until about March. It generally takes them about two months to process dental insurance at that office. So. I am expecting that around the end of February, early March. I had a $264 bill for my neck injections that I had in November. I had an appointment in January to meet with my neurologist and that was $35. And then let's talk about the eye doctor. As you can see, I have these lovely, very old, very disgusting. Look at this. They're so old that they're like stretched out glasses that I have worn. I haven't actually been to an eye doctor for a prescription update for several years. And so these are way off. 
it's a whole big long story. I wear bifocals because I'm old and I can't see anymore. But because I got these glasses before I started, before my neck issues were diagnosed, the bifocal I used to look out of my eyes like this, that's how I'd read. So the bifocals are actually like right here. So it's really complicated for me to see out of. By the time you see this, I will have already had my eye doctor appointment. Woohoo! So I'll have new glasses. Hopefully they won't cross a uh, fortune. But what has happened, I don't know, about a year ago, I did a video about how using cheap eye products actually was causing me problems. And sometimes it was okay about, it was okay to spend a little more for quality. Since that point, I have been getting eye infections almost like clockwork. I've had one almost every single month for almost the last, what, 10 months or something like that. So I finally broke down and went to an ophthalmologist and I have some sort of freakish infection in the oil glands in my eyelashes. So I can't wear any mascara, I can't wear any eyeliner, I can't wear any eyeshadow, and I can't wear my contacts for four to seven days. I'm on day four, so that's awesome. It's almost over. Hopefully I'll be able to put my contacts in for at least a little while tomorrow. I hate going to work with these things. They're so screwy, it's really hard for me to read in them and they're not even the right prescription anymore. So so that appointment cost me $35. Downside of that is I had to get rid of every single one of my mascaras and every single one of my eyeliners, except the pencils, because you can sharpen those way down. I don't have very many pencils. I do use liquid eyeliner all the time. So, um, and I had a lot. I had like eight different things of mascara and like, 10 things of eyeliner and I use them all differently all the time. So what I opted for was the Aqua Seal by Makeup Forever. It's $21 and that was up in the Wendy category. And it's a little liquid that you drop on eyeshadow and then you take a brush and you paint it on and it looks like liquid. The bonus about me doing this is I can wash a brush with soap every day after I use it so it won't recontaminate itself. So I probably will not be going back to my very, very favorite Stila liquid eyeliner. We'll see. So I am also not going to be able to use my mascara because the mascara that I had historically used was Dior and it was a primer and a mascara and it was like $50 for the two things. So since he told me every time I get an eye infection, I am going to have to throw my mascara away. I am moving on to drugstore mascara. After my eye appointment, I bought new mascara at the drugstore and I bought a lid wash that he told me I had to use and that was $22 and he told me that I'm gonna have to use it every day. And I'm like, ugh, and each package only lasts for a month. So that is 22 new dollars every month and if I get an eye infection, then it'll be another what, 10 or 12 for mascara as well. And then he gave me medication. So be expecting this $43.12 to reappear monthly for a while and until I get this straightened out, which is really annoying. But it is what it is. Medical issue is a medical issue. And in work expenses, all we had was $23 for some stuff I needed for the office. No big deal. Our sinking funds were funded, the $725 that we always fund. And I discovered for February that sinking funds are super beneficial. I didn't do sinking funds until last year and I am like the world's biggest proponent of sinking funds from now on. Like seriously. If you don't have sinking funds, you have to get them. They are amazing. You will find out we are going to be using one of our sinking funds in February and I am so excited about it. So the online expenses, we did some spending in this. It wasn't too crazy, not too, too bad over, but I did a whole video on the online expenses and I'll link that right up here in the eye in the sky and you can go check that out. So I won't go into it here and I'll keep the length of this video down. And get this, in our cushion category, we only had two expenses, two, that never happens. One, the first expense we had to run to the grocery store for $12 before I had gotten the cash out. So we used the card for that. The second expense was Girl Scout cookies. Now, Melina's a new Girl Scout. I didn't really know about this, but apparently in January, I'm gonna have to be buying Girl Scout cookies. So we bought Girl Scout cookies. We only bought two boxes, but we sent several boxes to the troops as like a donation. So I have now put Girl Scout cookies into the January budget for every year to remind me. 
but so that was out of pocket and unplanned. Our total debt payoff was $5,101.60. We were disappointed by this. I will freely admit we were disappointed by this, but it was the expenses of November and December playing catch up with us. And if you are interested in checking out that video to see where it went, check out up here in the eye in the sky. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This is my latest one, and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Bye!